My daughter loves you. Ten bucks. Yeah, no, he clearly won't be. <laughs> Here, have a bottle cap. Just keep the pill in your pocket. I'm sure that'll work out well. Don't worry. Collapse. Forget about it. If you need more pills, just stop by and ask. He needs more pills. If you need an emergency room, you're fucked. Thank you. We don't have those here. <laughs> All right. Doctor looks at the picture. That's what you had a heart attack over? I know. I... <laughs> I guess it's like some kind of Cthulhu thing that drives you mad if you look at it. I fucking hope for Parker's sake. Or drives your internal organs mad. Oh, look. <laughs> your dad didn't tell you about any of that, right? Did you manage to develop your photographs, Mr. Parker? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask so forcefully. When you say my name in all caps, it makes my heart skip a beat and I die. Oh. Well, he seems fine now. Poor Chip's proceeding very nicely. <laughs> I don't even want to talk to that dude. You might scare me a little. <laughs> oh god, no lady, uh, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. Statue a tree, I'm getting stimulated. Oh, an assassin. Now him okay, I'll that's talk fine. to. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh-oh. Stay on his Hey, did you just tray. diss me, bro? <laughs> bro. Bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, come back in here. Come on, man. You want some fish? You want some food? Bro, guns? Fish? This is <laughs> unnecessarily awkward. Uh, what? Did we get the key? Or did he take a key? I think Parker took it when it was meant for the fish clerk. Oh. Why? I might have. I might have. I might have missed that part. Parker realizes his life could end at any moment, so he's living every day like it's his last now. <laughs> Taking some risks that make no sense. All right, now we're going to break into this person's house, I suppose. And here's proof. Parker, it's a key. <laughs> Parker. Did we get it this time? Just walk right through the door. Oh, hey, it's a librarian's place, I think. Oh, yeah. Statue of a baby, a.k.a. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, don't look to your right, Parker. Yeah, that could be bad. A statuette. All right. Uh huh. Let's just let's, we don't have to steal. Oh, I bet this is gonna be a stupid four like. And two, now you like, find three, a statue like. of an old man. Yeah. Or take this taxidermy squirrel. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I thought those were starfish gummy worms. All right, let's do our terrible riddle that's in, like, almost every other fucking adventure game. Why did we break into Jug's house, who was, like, our friend? A key. Where did... What? And now a cartoon pickup scene. So we used a... Oh, no. We used a, a key to get another key. Yes, it, a smaller key. Right, okay. So we, we've traded down, clearly. And after that, a smaller key. Beyond chaos... I'll just I'll just read all of his books. It's like Parker is saying the titles of various poems he wrote in his angsty years. Oh, we'll use st st what? All right, now I don't get the puzzle at all. Mystery. Well, it's all about the mystery of the pyramids, Slowbeef. And the Invisible Man. Hmm. Yeah, Invisible Man. I get it. What are we doing? Why does he still have the two developed plates that turned up nothing? Oh, look, he's he's putting the statue near the book that corresponds. Right, right. Why, though? <laughs> How did we know to do that? Any of it? Huh? How'd you get into my panic room? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm dead. So... Kept your promise to me. <laughs> Oz. And what did they do? Because I can't tell from here. I didn't see. What? Does it matter now? Well, quite a lot. Yeah, actually, it, you know. I'm going to get some help. No! Oh! 
spend your last moments with me, Mr. Parker? It's too late for that. <laughs> I'd like you to fulfill my final living wish. <laughs> Points to his crotch. <laughs> you could still be some Would a key help? Quick, give me the parchment. They came to find What? 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 Where, the the one the bird gave us yesterday that we didn't look at? It means, in his dwelling place of dead relia, Cthulhu dreams and waits. <laughs> what is that, like a Hallmark card? Do words ring any bells? <laughs> yeah, that's no, well, awesome. I, I thought I heard the Cthulhu once or twice, maybe. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I really did. I've come across the name Cthulhu in old manuscripts concerning... And also a screaming Indian sorcerer. Wait, you have nothing. Look, look how close they are. They want to kiss. Oh. Mr. Parker, man has not always been the master of this world. <laughs> but I digress. Motion towards Crotch again. was a race of gods. The great old ones. How old were they? <laughs> Tell me about it in great detail. I'm a librarian. I believe anything, Mr. Parker. I have little time. Crotch again. <laughs> many believe that by using certain incantations, these loathsome creatures <coughs> can be brought back to reign over us once more. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to soak that in. All right. Oh, it's magic, you fucking idiot. Lean a little bit closer and I'll tell you more, there Mr. Parker. You saw a guy teleport yesterday! In exchange for the <laughs> How? Come on! That sounds like some hogwash. <laughs> oh, oh. There are men prepared to perpetuate the hideous ancestral cults and work for the return of these gods. Why didn't you just tell me all this shit yesterday? We could have saved some time. They have the ability to collapse bridges and summon birds and shit. Are you going to jerk me off or not? In my pants, I keep telling you. Far away and very near. Their names are Dagon. Dagon it. Yog Safoth. Nyalafotep. Cthulhu. There are many others. The passing of Halley's Comet Cohen. Lesser known ones. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Solace, Paul, Mr. Coffee. You must. Do you hear me? Sure. How can I stop them? Perhaps with a long pause. Just hold me close. In the center of a stone circle. So, I saw it in my fanfic. How did this not happen the previous time with Haley's Comet? Can you tell us that? Dude. Oh, the Necron. You will find the formula you need. Be warned, Parker. Or you can go to Necronama Comic Con. Do not take it from here. Do not act like Bruce Campbell, Parker. It, you're not that kind of man. If you... If you... Then he just dies. My desk. The message. Oh, I thought he said the massage. The massage. That will help me, Parker. Please. Seek your destruction by what I don't understand. Read uh. the message in the safety of your room. With your mimic friend. Is that really an all caps reading of that? I'm Didn't not really. Doesn't sound like it, yeah. No, I don't. I'll show you my butt, Parker, if you want. Hurry! Rakamus, the sorcerer, even dead, he wields even dead? ghastly power. Like the ability to be buried under the ground. Because <laughs> he's dead. He can warp, maybe close off a passageway. More things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are My name is Parker. I knew you well, I Mr. Parker. Tobias Jug. <laughs> Tobias Jug. <laughs> Wait, that's my name? Oh, that sucks. 
That's another great old one. He'll take Vince McMahon there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a shame. Oh, wait, he had the Necromonicon. That... I'll need a key to get this book open. Oh, well, a good thing I, uh... A small key, perhaps. No, in the safety of your room. He just said that. <laughs> this little key must open the lock on this book. Thank you, Parker. The ancients were... The ancients are. The ancients oh, it's a fucking how to read book. <laughs> Yog Sothoth knows the portal. How fast can Yog you type Sothoth this sentence, Parker? Yog Sothoth is the guardian and the key to the portal to summon. Necronomicon's kind of repetitive. Mm. I bet this sounds better over like a beat poetry type of thing. Mm -hmm. Three times he must be summoned, and there will be light. No, don't, well, don't read it out loud, Ben! Oh, that brought me back to life, Mr. Parker. Thank you. I'm a demon now. You've just summoned Yog satoth <laughs> The, uh, the ice cream dispenser of the great old ones. It's delicious. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna read this part out loud. It's kind of boring. <laughs> now my, my spirit will follow you around. Oh, man. <laughs> Yogg-Sagoth is like the evil frozen yogurt place, you know? Right. There's like nothing to put on the yogurt. It's also weird tart flavor that looks like vanilla, wait, but you're it leaving isn't. it? Yeah, I... Wait, yeah, Parker, no! Mysterious. With the closeness of shadows. It says all that on the spine? <laughs> wow. Wow, my god. <laughs> this is the longest titled book I've ever heard of. Impressive. Doesn't he have this evil book right here? Or, I mean... The book which drives men to madness. By <laughs> hey, Jug, you got a card catalog? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> the seven Has Dewey Decimal been invented yet? I hope. <laughs> no, we just have Jug's numbers. Can I borrow Kindle versions of these, Jug? And if so, what's the overcharge policy? 1743. That's a name. Aren't we in a secret room that people are looking for and murdered a guy in and... In demonic words, by Theobald of Siam. This is not a good place for... The myth of the beginning... <sighs> okay, that's, that title's so, just too much. Yeah, I mean, choose I one of those clauses for your title. <laughs> not all of them. <laughs> sinister reading. Do you think what sinister reading material is part of the title? <laughs> just wait till you hear the audiobook version. We've... <laughs> It'll sound really sinister. It's read by me. From audible.com. <laughs> oh, I see. Those are blood stains outside. Uh, That's... I still don't know how we do to solve a puzzle out of that, but, you know. Well, you know. Well, now that I've raided his books and, uh... Parker, I'm this bear now. <laughs> Growl, Mr. Parker. Try the strawberry at Yog sagoth Bye. They only serve low fat there. So I have the feeling basically all these old old great old ones are just trying to hawk their wares. Like Thule who's probably like a sushi chef. You think those are great old ones? <laughs> or at least the lady who looks like Tweety Bird's grandma? <laughs> I mean they are old. Yeah. But great old? <laughs> he's supposed to read it in the safety of his room. Now he's gonna lay on his bed with his feet in the air. It's like <laughs> Oh god, a bed! Ah! <laughs> Jug's lying in his bed. <laughs> Bury me in your bed, Mr. Parker. The man who can help you lives where the three colors float. From there, 100 messages leave. I'm gonna have 100 voicemail messages? <laughs> Which is on the map everybody can see. What? Huh? Alright, well... By map, everyone can see, he must mean a map. Where have I seen a map of the region? You have one! <laughs> but everybody has seen it? God damn it, Parker. Parker, I sent you 100 I messages on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> the mimic would shake his head if he could. Parker, Parker, Parker. <laughs> I would have had this game beaten under 30 minutes. <laughs> I would have just eaten that teleporting guy. 
This is my mimic voice. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh oh. Uh, a great old one. Uh, I'm about to drink with poor old Jed. Oh yeah, Jed. Uh, who is th who the hell's yeah. Jed? A hick in overalls. You gotta name him Jed, I guess. I'm in something of a hurry. And Jed pulls out a pitchfork. Come with me, Mister Parker. You will pose with me in a painting, a classic painting. <laughs> I think we just went toward the renegade uh, <laughs> ending. <laughs> That was a That's actually the moment. turning point, which determines one of two endings you get in the whole game. <laughs> we could join the Temperance League. Are you pro or anti-Jed, player? <laughs> this will decide your fate or your treatment of Jed. <laughs> it could have been Jed instead of me. I'm the narrator for the game now, Mr. Bo <laughs> Good day, Miss Gilchrist. I was told there's a map of the Fuck! hanging up here. <laughs> it was actually a map! <laughs> I was kidding! I thought it'd be like some kind of abstract oh, thing! Well, David Underhouse asked me for it, and I lent it to him. The poor man can't... It's almost like no one can really see it. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes your rule kind of shit. <laughs> Such a cruel world. <laughs> when people can't see maps. <laughs> you know? I, I can't. What has happened? <laughs> this is more like fifth world problems. Interested in Indians, are you? Mr. Underhouse is very keen. He's been looking for that cemetery for months. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet Jed was trying to kill us. <gasps> Remember they said some of the citizens? Yeah, would be against him. Mm-hmm. Now somebody is taking the map. Do those sacks have pieces of shit in them? Is she dodging something right now? Some Indian tribe, the muckamucks or something. Well, he What? It sounds like something you would say to try to be racist. <laughs> Yeah, they're them muck and muck rant skins. Something. Is that a slur yet? I'm gonna invent one one of these days. <laughs> now look at her head! As for savagery, <laughs> as for savagery, I think the Indians might have learned a thing or two from the 7th Cavalry. You were awfully fucking progressive for like 1922, Parker. <laughs> Yeah, good for him, but... Mr. Parker, yeah. my father often said, the only good Indian's a dead one. And he knew what he was talking about. Now, granted, they didn't, you know, teleport or anything, but... have work to do. Well, I've tried to teach the old woman not to be racist, but... And then he pulls out a gun. Here's what the 8th Cavalry would do. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? She's <laughs> playing out the Matrix in her head. Wow, that is a tiny person. Oh no, okay. It's in a wheelchair, slow beef. Come on. No, I thought it's not tiny. He's actually very tall. He's almost the Parker's height. Don't have ears. They are merely very thin. I believe you want to consult the map of this region. Please go right ahead. Have we met yet? What? No. Uh, hi, I'm Mr. Parker. He's the guy who has the map. This Pee Wee Herman looking motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, I'm very grateful, Mr. Underhouse. Oh, you know why you look tiny? Because that fucking desk is enormous. Look at it compared to them. <laughs> quite dark. Why do you need a, another chair in here, by the way? The Micmac? I'm afraid I didn't make myself very clear. It's precisely because I'm so ignorant about Indian culture. No, wait, we're, are we fighting demons or learning about history? Which one is the tribe that can teleport places? How would I kill the Indians <laughs> that I like so much if they were teleporting around me? He was the last of a particular branch of the Micmac tribe, a branch known as they who worship the Night Howler. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what they were called. How did you hear about him? I'm very curious about how you heard about that. You're wasting time, Mr. Parker. I've put my soul into Mr. Underhouse to help mm. you. Was Nyarala Thotep one of the old ones? I, I kind of mixed them all up. <laughs> just, anything that looks like you've just mashed your face into the keyboard is probably an old one. Not an easy Wheel of Fortune puzzle. But he is supposed to have died 70 years ago. Wait a minute, how do you get up and down here, Underhouse? That's more interesting than the fact that he tried to murder you. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I won't tell you, but... 
But may I ask what you're looking for on the map? No! Pushes him out the window. <laughs> Do you know this place here? Oh, let's use my close-up voice. Well, that's you, Mr. Parker. That's the stone circle. The location of the... <laughs> And you say you know nothing of Indian culture? Eyebrow waggle. One of us is lying, Mr. Parker. Give you a moment to think this through. Sit here and wait. Let's consider how my painting on the right is about to fall over. And the left also. <laughs> I'm not hung very well. Let me answer you with a question of my own. Did you know that those who worship Nyarlathotep are rewarded with a very particular gift. I was hoping you'd say you want a beer. <laughs> Is the gift Cthulhu? Is the gift a better soundtrack? Immortality! Is that another one of the old ones? Immortality, yes. <laughs> I, I mean... There are names it is wise never to pronounce, and people it is wise never to meet. Like Jug. Fortunately, Cthulhu, who's not one of them? <laughs> Jug, the greatest of the old ones! The Hamilton family. No, he's not talking about that! <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> An ancient curse hangs over Ilsmith. I, I would just ignore that too, yeah. Rituals in the worship of foul and age old gods. <laughs> Even if it were, like, some names you should never pronounce, the Hamiltons? <laughs> All right, well. I mean, that's a rough one. <laughs> Do you mean Parker? <laughs> and Tobias Jug, who led me to you, is dead. Only my physical form. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Andrew Arlington. I'm twitching even oh, faster. I was hoping there would be a pause right after he said no time to lose. <laughs> now there is. Okay. Now there's no time to lose. No time to lose. We have to hurry. Get the lead out. Rush. Let's do this. Get her done. Yep. Get out of here. Take action. On the move. Rush on out. We got a jet. All right. Time to floor it. I'll get the diamond. Make her. Okay. No, don't bring it back. Meanwhile, how about we play a sick tabletop game on this enormous desk you have? Where it is. There's no point in alerting them, is there? I can give you some information. Why don't you just come with us? It's made up of a number of digits. Digits, you say? Mm-hmm. Like mine, Mr. Parker? Are they 69? <laughs> if we had telephones, you could have my digits, Mr. Parker. It's just okay. No time to lose. Stop looking at me like I did something bad. When I discovered it, just before my accident. Oh well, that's I'll narrow it down. The Bible. Oh, the Bible. That's short. The Bible wasn't known for having many digits in it, right? Thank you. For no. <laughs> I think Parker really did roll his eyes there. Ugh. Whatever. Good luck. By bringing me a photo of the stone circle. Oh, you haven't seen his photography. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, you don't want him to. I would, but it would make me scream and have a heart attack. I promise. No. no, Parker, you shouldn't. You shouldn't make promises that'll kill you. No, please. So, being that the stairs are the only way here, this guy's just trapped up here forever. Yeah. Okay. Sure. No, I'll go on this side instead. Much better. What the f- Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> She's listening to some slick hip-hop. 